another NPC bandit. care of those. death and it's been a very long while since we last left our militiamen. As you can see I unlo unlocked just about everything. I got the weapons master perks. Got the experience perks unlocked. All the athlete speed stuff unlocked. Faster stamina. Uh, I unlocked the blacksmith if I need to. Now I got, uh, I'm not going to work on this punter with the kicking. This doesn't seem to work right. So these are things I definitely want to get done. 15% health increase which is 4 skill points and 6 or 10% damage reduction from all weapons. Right now I've got uh, 2 skill points. I think I'm going to work toward this 4 right here. I do want to get Master the Sword tree, the swordsman tree, and uh, this duelist is also something that's kind of secondary. So this is primary, this is very secondary, and then this is like last, or another secondary. So let's see, let's see where we're at, what happens. As for my gear, I have see I have the crude leather trousers which comes off of NPC bandits, weak leather gloves which comes off of NPC bandits, crude longsword which you could buy just about anywhere at any one of the merchandise, any one of the merchants, merchants, excuse me. I got this feeble uh, bearded battle axe off of uh, NPC bandits, got the nasal helmet from NPC bandits. I'll get back to the Sally helmet. Uh, ordinary bone axes, I can make those now. I bought this shield off some guy uh, on another server in London. And uh, the heavy gambeson, which is one of my favorite looking 
pieces of armor. You can see right here. Uh, it's the same kind of thing that the bandits wear, the NPC bandits. But I like it. It looks very well crafted. I got I got that also from the NPC bandits. This Salé helmet, I'll tell you, it's nice. It's a heavy uh, heavy helmet. And I think I'm going to put it here at my house here on St. Louis. Oh, and uh, also these spears that I can make, I can craft. So everything on me is not something that I have to have special made. I can just basically find it and then just put it on and go. Um, that way if I do get killed in battle, um, I won't be having a hard time re-kidding myself. As you can see, I can take down the Four or five hits. And he's dead. There's leg wraps. My stuff is better. There's some off of meat and an apple, the stone mesa, I don't need it. So here we go. We got one more hooded uh, son of a bitch over here. Who's sneaky. He can sneak up on you and belt you. Also some lovely wolves. Wolves are the hardest thing to kill in this game because they can hit you two or three times before you even get your weapon out. And here he comes. Dead. Fingerless gloves. I got one of those, actually. But right now, the heavy leather gloves are what I'm using. And we are off to find more adventure. Roll this guy, he is a marshal. Uh, basically, marshal's ro role is to maintain order in the area. Um, I'm basically, my character looks for more severe crimes, NPC bandits, and player killers. Um, Outlaws, I'm leaving to the the knights. That's their job. Petty theft, I'm not worried about. Some awful meat. And I lost it. Who's out of cooked fish? It's a good meal. I think there might be one other person on this server, I don't know. People come and go.
coming up across. Oh, look at this. Deer galore. Come across the tent here. You can see this guy. He's kind of... Wants to fight. He's feeling frisky. Ah! Ah! I wouldn't mind getting one of those executioner ah! hoods. That'd probably be neat. Ah! Basic cabbage. Here we go. Find out what this tent's all about. Let's say we got a dead guy. The sword, a sword, and a robust bone knife. What's in the tent? Anything? Oh, looks like there's some goodies here. Sword, sword, and some bread. You know what? I think I will take... Looks like all hell broke loose here. This looks like hell. This is devastated. Like there's anything here to salvage. A door that won't open. Doesn't appear to be anything here worth even looking at. Except sickness, disease, death. Oh, there's some food there. Spike got me. Gotta be careful of those spikes. They will get you.
Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out my sword skill. Right now I have 8% increased damage to one-handed swords. And also I've received less damage from swords. And the next level is going to be swords are more durable in your hands. So I'm going to get that next level right now rather than go for the other stuff. Uh, in order to do that, uh, let's see if I can pick some stuff up. Just pick some stuff up. this way. And I'll go with my shield. A nice rock. Here, this used to be the worst place for bandits. They'd have two heavy armed bandits, two light bandits, and a black knight all stationed here. Sword and shield. Here comes a heavy bandit and a light bandit. Wow. It was only three hits, I think. sucked. What's my reward? Six gold and an awful carrot. I was get rid of this other one. Let's see what uh, was hiding. Now, I never even dared look in here because you'd end up dying. There's so many bandits kicking the crap out of you. But this place holds a lot of good stuff. Right off the bat, here we have crude stone mace, a stick, it's a nasty apple. When in doubt, eat a nasty apple. Um, I hope they do more with this little place. There's a rotten parsnip. And if you think that's all, over here, <laughs> it says steel resource. So if you pick that up, you get a little bit of a bounty on your head. I think it's a, it's an axe. 
stone, nasty rotten bread. So there's a lot of little bit of little itty bitty things in this area. Ooh, basic iron ore. Continue. Some bandits outside. You mess with the bull, and you're going to get the horns. Meat. Well, uh, meat. We have a nice little fire here. And we got some meat. Miles and miles to go before water. Actually, no. This is the beach. They say life's a beach and then you marry one. Yeah, it was lovely, wasn't it? That was a lovely drop of tea. Yeah, it looks like here's a black knight. Along with a couple of guards. Here we go. We should let him go and kill those guys if he can. He's not. He's lying. Come on and try it, coppers. Put those weapons away. Goody bag. Ooh. I have never seen those before. I'm grabbing both of these. never seen those before. Alright, and we're off. Well, the short sleeve gambeson is just basically the same thing without that metal shoulder pad, which I like. But I'll keep those anyway. Here's the fisherman's wharf. These guys are fishing all the time. And you can catch some fish out there if you want to. Catch fish if you want to. But let's leave the beach. Let's get a divorce and leave the beach. Leave the beach behind. There's Farley all the way up there in the distance. And I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That's Dunstead up in the distance. This is Farley. And here we got another, another guy who wants to test himself. Ah. Against me. Ah. 
The marsh He was a bandit. Now he's a dead bandit. Look at that. I broke his back. I hit him so hard I broke his back. It's like Mike Tyson. His back is broken. Got an awful apple and an awful carrot. Gonna have an awful good meal, right? You can see my food is starting to deteriorate. That's no big deal. I ain't gonna sweat that at all. But up ahead I got the Hangman Hollow Wolf. And he's a real SOB, this wolf is. He's the toughest wolf in the whole game, as far as I'm concerned. So tough so that I wrote a book about him. And the book you could find in the game. It's called The Legend of the Hangman Hollow Hangman's Hollow Wolf. I'm having trouble talking today. And let's see if we can stir the pot. Taking the most convoluted way to get to my shack on this server. And that wolf will be out any second. for a great deal that wolf did even dead he's still growling at me what do we got nothing good some uncommon meat a bone and average animal fat you can keep all that and right over here is a secret chest questionable apple But we gotta hoof it to Bywick as quick as we can. It's getting late. And a lot of adventures today. I hardly ever travel on this road. So I don't know what to expect. Well, I know I didn't put this in here. Uh, don't know where this stuff came from. I know I did have some items in here. I don't know if it's worth putting anything in this house. Alright, well, I was going to end it here, but, yeah, I think I'll end it here. Good night out there, going to sleep on the, I guess, floor. Just passed out from exhaustion.
<laughs> All right, well, that's it. You can't lay on the bed, lay next to it. That's the goal of the, that's the theme of the game. If you can't lay on the bed, lay next to it. Take care, thanks for watching, and we will see you again another time.